So just to kind of review our lesson, this, this video is for you for teaching, not for them. So I just wanted to get on tape to remind you we talked about uh, on the groundwork yes, day before yesterday how when you are getting into your upper body and using the whip to drive her forward that you were not getting the responsiveness you wanted because you weren't plugged into her. So we covered that, talked about it, worked with it on the ground and found that when you are coming from a place where you are plugged in and connected and even on the groundwork you were sitting back and driving her forward, you got really excellent results. And so earlier today in the saddle, that same issue came up when you were working on the canner, specifically when you were working of not wanting her to canner in a certain spot and wanting her to canner sooner than that. So just to review, to kind of remind you what we were talking about was that you need to be organized, breathing, sitting back, really find your plug-in, open up your shoulders, and connect through your body to ask for the upward transition as opposed to hunching over with your front end with your upper body and getting active with the whip. So we know with this horse from both the groundwork and the riding today that you really need to take your time, get connected to her, make sure you've got the responsiveness that you want, breathe, plug in, and then ask for your transition. So that's just a sort of a talking review over the two pieces we hit on between our groundwork and our riding. It looks like you're getting a little fatigued. Yeah, I just wanted to try and get her. She's not feeling any hot in this direction at all. Okay, so take your time and work on that. Take a minute, wiggle your toes in your boots, let your ankles get flexible, particularly your left ankle. Find your places of connectivity and follow through with your reins. Use your body as your half halt. Activate your core muscles. And don't forget breathing. Sometimes your whip is really flopping around. Oh, yeah, it's so. all over the place. Yeah, so you do. I'm very good about it, but I have to remember that in case, you know, I need to get rid of it. So this is for you, Lucy, just to kind of in conclusion. Breathe. Think about letting the relaxation come through your body. And then connect to through your horse. It's got to come from your core and your heart, yes. not your hands and your head. See. Breathe into it. You feeling it better?